10 years ago, uh, Dr. Tom Barstow and myself wrote a grant to NASA starting to look at what are the fitness and aerobic and health standards need to be for an astronaut. And as part of that, we then had to build this capsule. Our job is to just get the astronaut to the top of the capsule uh, because there's still questions about what the life raft will look like. And we, we anticipate that one of the harder challenges is going to be climbing this ladder and getting on top, especially when you've got an astronaut who's got weaker muscles, uh, a weaker heart, balance issues, and now you've got a capsule that's on open seas with, with a rocking motion. So we're, we're taking EMG measurements um, to look at muscle activation, which muscles are actually used on a given movement, a given task. Um, and we're also making whole body measurements. What's the response of heart rate? What is the response of their oxygen uptake? Um, so that we can look both specifically at individual muscle requirements and what combination of muscles are, are required to do a given movement or task, as well as what the whole body response is to those tasks. By having, knowing these fitness standards and these health standards, we can really help NASA determine what kind of physiological interventions are going to be required, what kind of medical interventions may need to occur in flight to keep this astronaut healthy. If we can figure out how to keep an astronaut healthy in this extreme environment and do it in a very targeted way, we can translate that to life here on Earth where we have individuals who, who need that same maintenance of exercise capacity, maintenance of cardiovascular health. So it's really helping both groups of individuals, the astronaut and those here on Earth.